Where is the embassy? Saan ang imbahada? Saan ang imbahada? Where is the police station? Saan ang pulisya? Saan ang pulisya? Where is the church? Saan ang simbahan? Saan ang simbahan? Where is the jeepney stop? Where is the bus stop? Where is the port? Saan ang sakayan? Saan ang sakayan? You can combine saan ang with proper names. Where is the Pantranco bus terminal? Saan ang Pantranco bus terminal? Saan ang Pantranco bus terminal? Where is Manila? Saan ang Manila? Saan ang Manila? Where is Makati? Saan ang Makati? Saan ang Makati? Where is the University of the Philippines? Saan ang University of the Philippines? Saan ang University of the Philippines? You can combine saan ang with common English nouns. Where is the library? Saan ang library? Saan ang library? Where is the meeting place? Saan ang meeting place? Saan ang meeting place? Where is the church? Saan ang church? Saan ang church? Where is the wedding? Saan ang wedding? Saan ang wedding? Where is the exit? Saan ang exit? Saan ang exit? Many Tagalog speakers will say you can use saan ang with things. For example, you can say saan ang baso for where is the cup. Another example is saan ang pagkain for where is the food. However, fluent Tagalog speakers use another word for locating things. Nasaan. Where is the cup, for instance, is more accurately translated nasaan ang baso. Likewise, where is the food is more accurately translated nasaan ang pagkain. If you are a beginner, do not worry about the difference between saan and nasaan. Use saan and you will be understood. We will learn the difference in another lesson. This is the end of lesson 1.